Suko was the MVP of Godzilla X Kong because in my opinion, he was the glue that held the team together. And when we're talking about big threes, we got to start including Suko's name with Godzilla and Kong. And I'm not going to hold you. When I first saw him in the trailer, I really thought he was just going to be there for two reasons. Look cute and sell toys. But he was actually so much more than that. From his introductory scene alone, we see him slowly coming around to Kong and be like, damn, is this dude actually nice? Before we realize he's hesitant, he's actually a little shit. And real quick, Kong using Suko to beat the shit out of other apes was like 10 out of 10, no notes. I mean, his relationship with Kong was really like Kratos and Atreus. And I absolutely love their adventure together throughout this entire movie. And even when he double crosses Kong, he's always expecting to get punished. But Kong is different, and he realizes that, especially when he asks for some food. And Kong's like, Yeah, here, have it. I don't know why you're hesitant here. I'm a nice guy because this is his fucking father. And yeah, that was confirmed when you watch the movie. How could you not love him? He was so cute. Like when Scar King first showed up, he was like, ah, 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 We're cooked. Shit was so funny when Scar King was like, Laugh at Kong because he's got a silver tooth. He was like, ah, I'm in fucking danger. Huh? Then he finally makes that turn, helping Kong escape and then saving him from all those other apes. And then he pounded his chest just like Kong was. Plus, he's the one who brings the axe and breaks the crystal. I love Suko. And that's 